Let's look at kinematic body physics next. I'm going to load this kinematic body demo here. Let's look at what it does first. So as you can see, we have two of these moving paddles that are moving what appears to be a physics object between them. So how does this work? Basically, we have here the regular blue cube, which is just a normal rigid body that we created as usual. And then we have the two paddles. The paddles are animated using keyframe animation. And uh, how to set that up in uh, Omniverse Create is outside the scope of this uh, physics tutorial, but you should probably find an animation tutorial, and in particular a keyframing tutorial uh, for this. Uh, the main thing is that you can see that the translation of uh, these objects are set not to a static value, but they are set to be time sampled and uh, keyframed. So that is what makes them move back and forth. Now, to make an animated object interact as best as possible with a simulated object, you should also make the animated object into a dynamic rigid body that you can use this uh, green button to do that or any of the previous methods that we looked at before. Then it's going to gain this rigid body rollout and uh, then the important part is this kinematic enabled. If your body is going to be animated and you do not want the physics simulation to try to move that body, but you want the animation to move the body, you need to enable this checkbox, kinematic enabled. And uh, at that point, your body is still going to have a linear and angular velocity, but these fields are going to be derived from the animation. Um, currently, this is not being um, updated and, and written back here, but uh, you can be rest assured that internally it has a proper velocity. We can actually look at that by going to physics debug and then uh, doing the debug visualization and then enabling the linear velocity vector visualization. And now you can see that uh, this is a little bit too long. Let's make a scale down those arrows. You can see that uh, it's not only the blue box that uh, has a particular velocity vector, but it's also both of the paddles. And uh, once the, these animated objects have a velocity that is not directly coming from the animation, but it's being interpolated from the animation, the physics engine can correctly reason about them. The way that the kinematic objects behave is as if they would have infinite mass. So they are always going to push on dynamic bodies regardless of how massive those dynamic bodies are because of course they are fully being driven by animation. And that's pretty much all there is to kinematic.